once again with NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup. And in this episode of our season with Dale Jarrett's number 88 UPS Ford, we are going to complete race 18 of 34, which is going to take place at New Hampshire International Speedway for the New England 300. In the last episode, yesterday, we raced at Chicagoland Speedway, and that was just another one of them bad days. We finished in 17th place. I wasn't sure what to do to fix the car setup. It was tied into the corners, then the tires got worn, and it was loose everywhere. Matt Kenseth. Um, uh, who's Matt Kenseth? Oh, there's no such driver as Matt Kenseth. What, what even is a Matt Kenseth? I don't know. Fucking piece of shit. Um, New Hampshire is a track that I really like racing at in a lot of NASCAR games. Um, it's one of my favorite tracks in NASCAR right now. And I don't know how it is in this game, but we're about to find out. Hopefully it's not as bad on tire wear as other tracks because, you know, it's a flat track and it's, it's kind of simple in my opinion. Let's just get to qualifying and see if I can get the pole again. Here we come off of turn four. This track does look a lot like it does in NASCAR Thunder 2004. A lot of the tracks do. But it also kind of feels like it does in NASCAR Thunder 2004. I slowed down way too much for that point of the turn. I'm not sure if I'm over-braking and under-steering the corners just yet because I don't know what the car is capable of. But let's just see if we can get a good lap in. At this point, I just feel like I need to get the pole at every single race if I want to do at least a little well. At Chicagoland, it really didn't work out because we couldn't clear anybody whenever we were getting underneath them. 38th. Wow, I suck. I suck. I mean, I can't finish 88th, but I really don't want to finish 38th. Okay. A little bit faster than the turn that time. It was getting tight, but I don't know if that was good yet. Oh, golly, I keep on not being able to interpret what's on the screen whenever I go to the corner. I can't exactly tell where I am on the track and when to start braking from what I see. That's what I'm trying to say. What do we get? We'll be okay. Hey, Tate! Man, Jeff Gordon's on the pole. Where's Ryan Newman? He's been starting on the outside of me in every single freaking race. He's starting 10th in this one. It's like every track that I'm not good at, Ryan Newman's not good at. So we're always on the front whenever we do well, but any time that we don't do well in qualifying, it's like we're always in the back. It's, I don't know. This is weird. So, green flag's out. We're starting here at New Hampshire International Speedway on the outside of Tony Stewart. Oh, man, we're on the outside of New Hampshire. I don't like that. And, okay, you have to turn. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a racetrack, you know. you got to turn the car. I turned the car because I didn't want to go really high up on the outside roof. If I started on the inside, I wouldn't have to deal with outside lane stupidity. In other games, we would just make contact and bounce off of each other. And this one, when something like that happens, it's, uh, they get stuck to you and then they immediately start being stupid. Okay, we're gonna finish that turn, we're gonna start passing cars. I mean, we're a single file at the restart, but they're all getting side by side and stuff like that, trying to make passes on each other, that's nice. Okay, get off the apron, that's not gonna help us. I don't think it is. I'm underdriving the turns once again because I don't know how hard I can um, go in there. I think Tony Stewart at the outside wall and I had nothing to do with that. Like literally, you had me pinned down to the bottom of the track. That's not me. I'm getting loose down here on the apron because I'm slowing down too much still. I don't know how to not do that. Let's just make our way through the field. Um, get over the fact that the beginning of this race was just junk. It's been a while since I've had a race start out that bad, but... Okay. They're pulling away up there. It's 50 car. Is that Jimmy Spencer? I think it is. Okay, let's just catch Rusty Wallace over there. Don't go too fast in the turn. I'm trying to practice this, get used to the track. I probably didn't get the pull because I don't know how fast I can go through the turns. I feel like if I go faster, I'm going to get really, really tied in. But I'll still get a good exit. I don't know. I have no clue. It takes forever to figure out this track in every single video game, but once I do, I'm pretty good. Like in NASCAR Heat 2 or NASCAR Heat Evolution even, it took me a while to figure out exactly how they wanted me to raise the corner. But once I did, I was getting it done very well. I suppose I did rather well at um, New Hampshire and the Eutechnics games. That's probably my favorite rendition of New Hampshire is in the Eutechnics games, even though the AI sucked so bad. Okay, so we caught these guys. We can start making the passes. Sparks constantly flying for some unapparent reason. Now that I'm surrounded in traffic, I suppose I can adjust how they raise the track and try to copy them. 
I'm on the outside of Rusty Wallace because they're all slow in the stretches. That's odd. Okay, start turning the car. I mean, I'm already turning it, but it's not doing anything. Wow, Rusty Wallace just needs a bunch of spots right there. I just noticed. Okay, get Dale. Dale won the last race, of course, and um, he's right here next to me. I'm trying to get the darn car turned, but I don't know when it's going to finally start. So by the time it does, I'm under driving turns. It's just, ugh. I hate it. It's annoying. I suppose that's realistic for New Hampshire. You don't know if, when you're down to the right speed until you let it settle where your steering wheel and speed is. Okay, so we've made the top ten. Almost made contact with Mark Martin. I'm pushing it. Legends like... Dale Jarrett and Mark Martin in this game. I'm on the apron, and I'm trying to get off of it, and because I got off the apron, the car shot up the track. Remember I was trying to catch Rusty Wallace, and now Rusty Wallace I'm still trying to catch, but I've still made up spots. It's like Ryan Newman has made up like three spots since the race started. Or four, I'm not even counting correctly. Uh, you know, this is the kind of racing I wish you have at every other track in this game, you know? Sometimes you don't start well. Maybe you do start well. Whenever Tower comes in, it doesn't completely kill you. Of course, I don't know exactly if Tower is actually in yet because I'm not really feeling it. I'll feel it whenever it's there. That sounded so bad. Out of context, at least, I suppose. I don't know. Okay, get the car turning. Try not to make contact with Kurt Busch. Yeah, there's a lot of room on the outside of the corners here. You have to remember that. And we got ninth place. Rusty Wallace is making up spots faster than I am. I'm just driving along the yellow line like it's nothing. I think that helped me finish the turn because we got a huge draw on Jimmy Johnson right there. Okay, I think we're going to finally pass Rusty Wallace here as long as they don't dive bomb this corner too much. I was being a little more conservative there. Yeah, we're not going to get there just yet. I still haven't cleared Jimmy. I can feel the car getting tight, but there's just so much room on the outside. Like, it looks as if I'm driving the track the same way that I was earlier, whenever we were doing qualifying, except I'm not doing it intentionally now. I'm pushing it, but the car can't. Suppose the way I race this track is a good amount of conservative. If I drove it hard from the beginning, maybe, like, if I was that good as they were in qualifying from the start of the race, then we could possibly be wearing the tires out more quickly. Jimmy Johnson got around us because I got tight in the turn one. He's hitting Scott Riggs. Got to run on Jimmy Johnson. Try not to drive into him. They just said that the leaders were coming down the road. I don't know which ones. Jimmy is. Make your decision, you piece of shit. Freaking blows dingus. Why, man? I wait and I wait and I'm just like, go. Get off the track. Take your pit stop. And he's just sitting there slowing down. I can't go to the outside because I'll hit the guy that's on the outside of me. I think there was someone there. It's like I don't want to go to the outside and get out from behind him because if I do, then I'll just hit the outside wall coming off the corner because once you give up your grip, you're going to keep losing it from that point on. It's just annoying as hell. Get off the track now. I mean, even them have problems with they're slowing down so much because they're waiting for them to get off the track. The AI themselves, it's so stupid. Just get off the track. I guess they fix that in some of the newer games where the AI get off the track in time. Well, you know, seven or four games, NASCAR games. I think they get off the track fast in those games. In some places, it's ridiculous, but probably still better than what we have in these ones. That fancy driver was behind me as I went in turn three, and he's got fresh tires, so he can go in a lot faster. Um, yeah, yes, yes, Scott Riggs, I'm down here. And he doesn't take his pit stop because I was underneath him. Maybe you should have gotten off the track a lot sooner. Ding dong. <laughs> ding, ding dong. Hello? Is there anybody in there? Hello? Is there anybody in there, Scott Riggs? This is so cheesy, it's cringy, man. Oh my goodness. Horrible commentary. I still have Pepsi left from the freaking Daytona race. I didn't have time to drink it. I bet that sounded weird. Alright then. We're doing so well in this race. Watch this pit crew make me lose like freaking 10 spots. I was doing really well. I made the top 10 and everything. I gotta say this. The NASCAR games... New Hampshire is just almost always good, except for in the um, game 7 of 4 games is made. Well, it's always great for what-if racing for some reason. Whenever he plays races, 
He plays races. Whenever he plays like NASCAR E2 or NASCAR E2 Evolution races at New Hampshire, his races are fantastic. Probably because he's so much more talented as a driver than me. But when it comes to um, the 704 games, NASCAR games at New Hampshire, it's always kind of sucked for me in those. It's just a level of difficulty that I can't handle. I think the reason why it sucked so much whenever I was doing the uh, NASCAR Heat 2 truck series was mainly because of Tyler just dragging me down so much towards the end of the race. It felt like it was too much. We didn't lose that many positions. We're in 13th place. Let's see if we get a top 10 out of this race. That would satisfy me. Didn't I say whenever I started this video that was my goal to get a top 10 in this race? And could have gotten more if it wasn't for the pit crew. Could have gotten more if it wasn't for you meddling pit crew. I don't know. Right behind all these guys, we could get all these spots back and get into the top ten if I could just find my way around them. And I'm hitting Mark Martin. That's not how Mark Martin and Dale and Dale and Dale, 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 Dale Jarrett race each other. JC, what you doing? Oh well. And there's another driver who was legendary for like a season, Sterling Marlin. I think he was like a really, really good driver for a good two seasons. Whenever he was racing with Coors Light and all that stuff. At least that's how I think it was. He was good up until the point where he got out of his car under red flag and started kicking his left, not his left fender, his right fender. Yeah, at the lead of the Daytona 500. That, that's whenever he wasn't good anymore. Maybe not, that was the first race of the season. Okay, so we made it to the top 10. Let's see if we can make up a couple more spots. Those guys are just right over there. Tires are still quite fresh. I see Terry Labonte and Ward Burton making contact, I believe. I think that's Terry Labonte. Maybe it's Michael Walker. Jeff Gordon's still out in the lead. He's been doing a great job. And he's pretty close to me in the point, so he's going to gain a ton. Unless I can get a few more spots where this is over, it won't be so bad. Okay, that was a great exit right there. We came off a little close to the wall, but not that close at all. Oh, wow. This is not Ward Burton. This is, um... Random fantasy driver that drives a Sinos car. Sintas, not Sinos. Sinos? Snaz. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we're going to be limited to just getting 8th place. I think we can still get some more. Not only was that not Ward Burton, that was also Michael Waltrip over there. This is just ridiculous. I, I don't know anything. I'm so stupid. Maybe I could have shared draft with him a while ago and I didn't even remember that. Okay, really great dive into turn one. Still coming off the corners a little too slow. I don't know. Can we get more than eighth place here? I know we're going to get eighth at least. You know, the tower is, um... It's not bad. It's, like, perfect at this track in this game. And then, uh... What else can I say? I'm good at this track if I was just good in qualifying. Well, I'll be doing better right now, and I'm good at this track. I already know I'm good at this track in this game. It's nice to be good at a track like this for once in this game. This might just be my favorite track to race in this game overall. Of course, I don't know if I'd be saying that if I, um... hadn't done so poorly in qualifying. I'm not sure. The tower is getting there, and it's taking us longer and longer to catch these guys. Maybe we can get 7th or something. Three laps to go now. Go hard into turn one. I like how the back end of the car is not kicking out from underneath me whenever I brake heavily at the last second. Which is something it does at a lot of tracks. If you try throwing it in there, it just kicks out from underneath you and starts smoking. Okay, that, that's where it's going to do it. I can't do it that hard. That lost me time rather than gained me time. Two laps to go here at New Hampshire. Things have really spread out for the front of the field since the beginning. Pretty sure people started watching this video, and as soon as the race started, I'm like dumping Tony Stewart because apparently he didn't want to get down to the bottom of the turn immediately. I'm like, oh, here we go, just another horrible race, and then here you have it. One of my favorites of the seasons yet. It's calm but good. Ah, uh, New Hampshire races almost always good in NASCAR games, especially online racing, in my perspective. Last lap, I'm trying to gain all this time. I don't think there's enough time for us to get to 7th place. Got Dylan Hart Jr. trying to get a spot on um, Jimmy Johnson. And Jimmy Johnson, not Jimmy Johnson, Dylan Hart Jr. just recently got into 2nd place after Chicago. And I think Jeff Ward's going to get that right back. 
I don't know why I'm trying to make up all this time to get one of those spots. It's not possible. I'm gonna lose eighth place at Mike Walter if I keep trying. I can't try anymore. The tires are too worn. There's not enough time, so don't bother. Eighth place. Wanted a top ten. Got a top ten. Ah, uh, kept the car rather clean all race long. You saw it. Jeff Gordon started on pole and finished in first place. Led 20 laps, which is all but four. He gets the most laps led, so he's definitely going to close in on me in the point standings. I don't think he's going to be in the lead yet. I'm pretty sure of that. But um, Matt Kenseth started in eighth place, finished in second. Elliot Sadler started in sixth and finished in third. Ryan Newman started tenth and finished in fourth. Rusty Wallace started fifteenth and finished in fifth. I remember watching him throughout the race at the beginning. He was really moving, just like us. And um, he led one lap, so that is one of the four laps that Jeff Gordon didn't lead. Dylan Art Jr. started fifth and finished in sixth. Jimmy Johnson started twelfth and finished in seventh. Here's us over here. Made up ten spots after starting in eighteenth. Michael Waltrip started ninth and finished in ninth as well, and he led one of those laps. And there's Kevin Harvick started 11th and finished in 10th. Who else led laps in this race? Oh my goodness! They didn't finish in the top 10, they finished all the way in 20th. Scott Riggs, who started in second. Um, wasn't, yeah, Scott Riggs was the guy that didn't get down pit road because I was underneath him. If he had gotten off the track sooner, he, I wouldn't have been in his way. But no, for some reason, the AI don't get off the track so they can get down the road. They wait until the last damn second. I don't know what that's about. They don't need to do that. I mean, I proved that they don't need to do that by getting off the track earlier and not spinning around in circles or some unpredictable nonsense, which apparently they thought was going to happen. I don't know. Got to program the pit road entries better than that. That's like the only flaw of the racing of this track. And the uh, rest of the race results. Bo Banks. Billy Banks. Bum Banks, Bob Banks, Baker Banks, I don't know, I'm combining fancy driver names now. Finished in last place after starting in 37th. Who cares? I didn't view the race replay, so the thumbnail sucks now, and no one's going to watch this video, because everybody assumes that New Hampshire produces horrible racing even in a video game. Why am I talking like Chad Kruger from Nickelback? Look at this photograph of Jeff Gordon being... 33 points behind me after the race at New Hampshire International Speedway. Dylan R. Jr. is in third, 41 points back. And then there's Ryan Newman in fourth, 155 points back. Jimmy Johnson is in fifth, 171 points back. Tony Stewart's in sixth, 235 back. Kurt Busch is in seventh, 411 back. Matt Kenseth's still in eighth, 418 back. And my teammate Elliot Sather is in ninth, 428 back. And then there's Kevin Harvick in tenth place, 501 back. Wow. Between 1st place and 10th place, there is 500 points. Oh, I, I guess that's realistic because, you know, I've had my ups and downs and it's just us racing to everybody else. I suppose that is actually realistic for NASCAR. And you can look through the rest of the point standings. And you've got your fancy drivers down here. I was having some problems reading those results at one point because my voice is so killed from trying to speak like Chad Kruger. In the next episode, which is going to come out next week, we are going to do the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm expecting to do very badly there. It would surprise me if I didn't do very badly there. That is going to be race 19 of 34. I suppose I can say that we had a meh week of NASCAR 2005 because we had 2nd place finish, 17th place finish, and then an 8th place finish. Uh, I'll just completely blame Chicago on Matt Kenseth. I'll leave it at that. Matt Kinseth, just Matt Kinseth, the Joey Logano out of my ass. Quote me on that one, somebody in the comment section. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.